All right, dungeon time. Oh, shit, there's no map in here. Sand gems, though. Oh, this is how we get the silicon. Okay, uh, I'm going to tilt my monitor down so I can see. This game's surprisingly dark. Okay, so I can mess up the bushes get stuff from this. Twigs. This is... Spin to win! It's always time for spin to win. Okay. Nope. We want to do this. Rocks! There we go. Oh, God. We're on fire. Uh, switch golems. There we go. Instead of breaking them... Oh, what? No, what? Oh, my golem's broken. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's weird. So hot swapping golems is a bad move. Because I just broke my good one. Alright. Well, there goes all my golems. Guess we'll have to go figure out how to fix them. That, this was an interesting dungeon. And now we're done with it. And I don't know where the exit is. I think it's up here. God. The loading time in this game is atrocious, though. That's... I'm probably not going to come back to a dungeon for a while. Eh, it, it might not be so bad this time around. It looks like it's kind of loaded in the tile sets and stuff. I hope they optimize this soon. Because, um... Uh... You know, sitting through multi-minute long load screens could be really problematic and annoying. I think we're good, though. So I, th I think what it does... Oh, no. Come on, go invisible. It's painful without the golem. I should get a teleportator. Because I'm definitely going to need it. For times like these. I thought it was invis invincible. With my whole golemy business. I wasn't. I wasn't at all. Turns out fire just burns them to death. Like, almost immediately. It sucks. I think we have to go back this direction. Bushes just have, like, twigs and shit on them. Why am I doing this? Yeah, just twigs. Not bad, but not really worth going out of my way for. Okay, I don't think we have much to worry about here. We've killed most of the bulls. And stuff like this. Let's see, does Wander play League? I haven't seen it on this channel. I don't really play MOBAs. They don't really interest me that much. Uh, I was really interested in playing Gigantic, but it looks like that game's flopped already, which is kind of a shame. Okay, uh, so we want to go over here. We want to go fix my shit. Because, oof. Okay. That's repair and repair. That's cheap enough. Okay. I kind of really wish I could, uh, switch my golems around somehow. Like, just hot swap the parts. I can, maybe? I don't know, any weapon, what, eh, anyway, weapon station. Let's make a mace of pain. Oh, I don't get experience for crafting. Well, that sucks. I guess we must make a hand catapult. What else can I make? Uh, a lab. Well, let's build a lab. Let's see what I can get. Maybe there's actually something else kind of handy in there. Uh, teleportation device. We don't need garages. Okay. This is the lab got for me. Mortar bomb, restoration oil. Gradually restores my Goliath and bronze bars. Let's do bronze bars. The restoration oils... Actually, you know what? Well, this is easy. Can I, like, split? Oh. Shift will split it over. Okay, that's useful. So I'll just convert a bunch of twigs into that. Uh, I guess seeing as... Golem to... Oh, no. Alright. Oh, okay. So when my golem... When my golems got busted, uh, the items just popped off of them. I see how it works. Okay, well, we might as well just toss on the amazing fiery catapult for the time being. It'll break. I don't care. Okay, cool. Um, so I don't feel like doing dungeons for a bit. Or do we want to go back? I'm probably not going to get set on fire twice. I will. Let's just kill this sucker. Hmm. 
luckily, I have weaponry this time around. Makes this easier. Kind of wish I could, like, stun him or something, or, like, rebuff his... Ow. Rebuff his attacks. Well, I guess we might as well just use up the amazing fiery catapult. And the, uh, rock strike. I'm glad that while using abilities, uh, time slows down a little bit. Gives me the chance to aim. This game did it, and... Oh, what other game did it really well? Um... I really enjoyed it in... Eh, let's go. Let's go check out one of those sh those uh, shops. Actually, you know what? No. Well, this lagged the game a little bit more than I expected. Oh, interesting. It's a different animation for that too. Well, that's cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's no way I couldn't just do that. Does not get me nearly the experience that I'm looking for here. But it is really satisfying to just spin to win that heck out of, like, a, a slew of dodos. Okay, so let's see. We want to find a shop. I Oh, I see. There's one right here. Okay, so what's the trader got? Trader has berries. So pretty much everything basic. I don't have... Well, I got a lot of stuff. Question, how much is this worth? I have no idea. Oh, price 45, price 50. Huh. Weird? I have no idea how much I made from that. Price 2. So yeah, if I want to make money, I can just sell, like, my basic wooden swords here. I don't really know if I need to, though. Maybe if I want to get, like, dynamite. But most of the other resources I can just pick up along the way. Speaking of, let's see what we got down here. These are spider eggs. Oh. Take all. Piss them all off. Oh. Well, that knocks them out very quickly. I appreciate. And there's more. No, never mind. That's the spider corpse. And this one's bust. Never mind. Spin to win. I'm so glad that there's, like, nothing stopping me from spinning to win constantly. It's very satisfying. I actually really, really do enjoy this game. Oh, the, the nests deteriorate? Either that or I broke them. I have no idea. It's a bit on the weird side. Like, if this game wasn't so, like, just kind of pleasantly uh, casual, I think I would actually hate it a lot more. Because as it stands, like, I don't really mind. I don't really mind the fact that it's kind of weird and broken all over the place and like the combat is really like basic and whatever because it's just it's so acceptably goofy and I don't know maybe I'm just being really forgiving uh maybe it's also because like I'm really stupid today I've had a hell of a day uh so eh, not hell of a day hell of a week I don't know um so it's spring if you didn't know uh and I am uh, I'm allergic to tree pollens of, like, some variety near my house. And I'm just gonna farm experience. Well, never mind. I was gonna farm experience. Oh, you know what? We probably get experience for collecting resources, not crafting. What? Where's that spider going? Alright, I guess we've pissed off the bull. That's not good. Actually, no. Of things that could have happened, this is okay. I wish the bull had, like, a lot less HP, though. Okay, just because this is such a slow process. Luckily, while I'm spinning, I can just totally go around him. No problem. Hi. Ow. Actually, less ow. There we go. Nope. Boulder! It works. But yeah, being in front of... Being in front of him kind of... Stop doing that! Alright, that's really annoying that walking into the front of this guy... Uh, is enough to get me knocked over. I have dumb. So I'm just gonna sit vaguely inside of him. Never mind. That doesn't work either. All right. I don't. I don't have my crossbow anymore. Ah, that's a, oh right. I sold it. I forgot. Well, we're almost. We're almost level eight. Let's just 
just easier if I do the... Oh, shit, my sword's gone. Eh. I can make it work. Durability systems in games are nonsense. I'd actually rather pay five to ten times the amount. Uh, and just have a weapon that never decays here. Alright. So we've leveled up. It's just HP. No, there's totally, like, a damage differential, too. I think. Could be wrong. But, like, I, I'd rather, like, go out of my way, pay a lot of resources in in game or whatever. Um, and never have to replace my weaponry. Um, and instead of having, like, a, a randomly generated item quality system, that bull is following me, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, this is very annoying. Um, and instead of having a weapon quality system, I'd rather have a weapon upgrade system. So you just consistently are, like, upgrading your weaponry. Constantly. Uh, so you can have, like, a level 2 sword, 3 sword, whatever. And instead of, your shit broke. Uh, well, it's gone. We don't, there's no fixing it here. Alright, what's he want? Six berries. No. So he just gives the same quest over and over again. That's kind of dumb. So can I go stand in the water? I can. So neat thing about this... Neat thing... Neat thing about the golem. Heals very fast underwater. Problem is... Still meaningless. I don't like fighting this thing at all. We're leaving now. We're trying to leave now. Did he? He just double shot me. Like, I'm just gonna ho go home. We can go heal this golem in a bit. But yeah, durability is totally an anti-fun mechanic. Oops, I don't want to throw boulders in my house. Let's go back to this. Uh, let's see, what can I do? Garage, weapon construction, laboratory. Let's see. Inventory, experiments. So, question. What can I make from here? Goliath on fire in winter biome level... Nine and desert biome. And then the rest of these are going to be locked. It's a bit shame. Wait. These are only wood golems. How do you get the metal ones? I have no idea. Maybe we should actually, like, go ahead and do that quest. Uh, yeah, let's do it. First, let's do weapon station. Silicon and bones, probably not going to be doing that. Alright, let's make another Mace of Pain. Do we? Yeah, it's pretty easy to get these materials. And a couple of hand catapults. Okay, laboratory, what do you have? Uh, restoration oil. Might as well make those. Collect the rest of our coal. Go here. Okay, and let's just finish off the bronze bars and make more of these. I could make like a mortar bomb. Doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage. It's a bit of a shame, actually. Okay, he is just standing there. Alright. Oh, right, I was going to make a teleportator. Uh, just in case we do need to get back and I don't have to walk back. Okay, so we want to do... I guess I have so many logs, we might as well. I didn't realize I'd used up all of my twigs. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. Can I dual wield the maces? Nope. If you, um... If you check the golems, there's a range slot and a melee slot. Yeah. No good. Let's go with the mighty mace of... Actually. Apparently I can't take that off. Let's go here. Mighty mace of pain. What? Are you serious? Apparently I can't use the Mighty Mace of Pain because there's a sword slot. Oh, this is kind of dumb. Let's drop off the maces for the time being. So yeah, I have to find something with a specific uh, mace slot. I think. I guess I could always sell them or something. But nonsense nonetheless. Anyway, tent, tent has... Teleportator. Okay, yeah, seems like you upgrade your stuff. Yep. Unfortunately, I gotta be level, uh... I gotta be level 12 before I can get the next weapon construction. Which is a bit unfortunate. Let's see, repair. I actually don't know how to repair. 
Like, there's Goliath storage. But that does me no good. But that's okay. I know, I know how to repair a Goliath anyway. Let's go back to this guy. Yep, he's the one that's painfully injured. We got several bulls around here. Let's bust this up. Yep, had stone. So we want to come up here and go down here. Yeah, pleasantly, I don't have to waste resources on, um... I don't have to waste resources on repairs. At least as long as we've got a, a wood golem. Eventually, probably when we get to the next area, I'll unlock metal golems and we can start getting those too. Uh, but for the time being, this is what we got. So let's, let's continue the quest and go from there. Because, yeah, I can, I can gather as many resources as I want. Please let the protagonist's name be David. Nope. The, uh, the secondary, uh, character. Who we haven't actually seen yet. His name is Dave. Uh, the main character's name is like... I don't even know. Try and make a wood mace. Uh, I could try. You know what? Spin to win. There's no reason why I shouldn't use my abilities. What is with this GPS? Oh no. Yeah, I want to try and avoid combat as much as possible here. Because I want to go into this fresh. We've got a bunch of repair kits, but they take a while to... They take a lot of resources to build, and I don't really feel like uh, wasting them. Over on the other hand, this. Gems are nice. I like to get my hands on sandstone. I don't know if that's going to happen. Halt! You there! Stay away from this chest! Or Leader's orders. Uh, hi, don't worry, I wasn't going to take anything. Are you one of the expedition members? Let's see. Fenric, Flenric the Steady. Accountant, second class. Yes, I've been tasked with making an inventory of all the treasure we found. It's not glorious work, but it's still important. Why, just the other day, I... Right. So where did everybody else go? Oh, them? They went north. Treasure isn't really the main goal of this expedition. If you catch my drift. Wink, wink, secret stuff. Can't tell you. It's classified, so don't even ask. Because I will never, ever... Okay, thanks, bye. Awesome. So they went... Presumably into this. There's just flat-out skeletons here. I can loot them for bones! Oh. So I can't loot the chests. But I can loot the skeletons! Huzzah! I could also murder him if I wanted to. But I'm not that much of an asshole. I could be. But I don't want to. Because that's the mean thing to do. Goliath Construction had an option in the menu for repair. I'm sure, but why spend money on it when I can totally just, um... When I can totally just... Uh, let's see, there's a spider there. Let's see. Oh, these are just bushes. I'm... Oh, right. Cursor position is everything here. We actually do need twigs. Okay. So let's go, let's go big. Because we ain't going home. Okay, question. Can I shoot him in the face? I can. Perfect. Bam! Luckily, it takes the spiders a lot longer to attack than it takes me. And I've also got some range here. So I can just knock them around. Up until this happens. And then we just spin to win, because they can do nothing about it. Alright, very satisfying. I should probably take out that nest, though. I don't know if they're going to spawn the, uh, the poisony set my golem on fire nests, but I don't feel like dealing with it. You know, I could actually see this game being kind of entertaining in multiplayer, honestly. So did they, they did head north, right? Oh, hey, sweet, there's water in here. Oh, there's healing. Okay, and there's bones. You gotta wonder whose bones these are, because they don't look like fox people bones. Which leads to the question of, maybe skeletons just naturally grow around here. I'm gonna go with that one. That seems like the most logical conclusion, considering we have yet to see another human in this entire place. Anyway, let's gather as many gems as we can. We don't really have a need for it. 
But it's nice anyway. There's... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's water in the beginning. Duh. Guess I don't have to be that cowardly here. I can just... Are the gems? No, the gems have not already recovered. I was like, really? Well, let's light the torch. I like it how it warns me that... Oh. It's like a goblin miner. Cripes, this guy is, uh... Damaging. It's like a goblin miner zombie thing? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, also dead. Mainly the dead part's kind of useful. Let's start healing. It's like that Amigara Vault. Oh, please do not talk about Ar Amigara Vault. Or however it's freaking pronounced. That is such a messed up manga. Okay. I heard noises. So we might as well gather what we can in here. Whatever good it will do me. I'm looking for more sandstone. We had kind of a limited amount of that. Next time I'm bringing more swords. Because, uh... This is... The enemies are really bullet spongy. I mean, technically sword spongy, but, like, you guys get the drift. Like, it's a really nice looking game. It's very quiet. I'm just realizing that now. Here, question, options, sound. Can I actually increase this? We're cranking everything up to 10, because I can't hear anything. And I've got this on actual max volume now. It's still very quiet. Wow. Why? I have no idea. Alright, whatever. Anyway, some of these seem to have good stuff in them, so I'm just going to go with this. Oh, shoot, was this just like a miscellaneous dungeon? This wasn't even, like, the quest. Yeah, we weren't actually supposed to go here, but uh, maybe we were. I mean, it definitely seemed like we were supposed to go here. But I was expecting we'd have some level of, like, plot progression at some point along the way. Okay. Uh, is there anything? I thought I saw it. Nope, that's a bush. Oh! What? Oh! Um. Jesus. Uh. Alright, this is a bit much. Are you... Who designed this game? And who thought this was fun? Like... I mean, luckily Spin to Win does horrible things to these things. Okay, we have to worry about these poisony looking dudes. Because they have Murder Brawl written all over them. Okay, there we go. Can just keep them on its butt. We they're no problems. Okay, there we go. Let's go back for some healing. Unfortunately, I think uh, the spider nests. The entire time I've been in this dungeon, those spider nests have just been spitting out spiders, um, which isn't good at all. Luckily, we've got infinite healing, so we got that. Main issue is probably going to be sword durability. Luckily, I've got several AOEs to work with here. Okay. Oh, you're the one. I'm very much in trouble here, maybe. I'm not on fire yet. This is encouraging. Oh, those are all... Those are all... Spitter spiders. Jesus. It looks like somebody learned game design from, uh, from No Enemy Limits 101, because, hot dang. Alright, we've got a spin to win, I'm just gonna roll it. Oh, I leveled up, perfect. Because, yeah, we gotta best up these nests, otherwise this is going to be a problem. Chuck a rock, we leave. Because if I get hit by those poison guys, we get slowed down. Okay. 
one more poison guy left. If I can hit him. There we go. Alright, then it's just the regular spiders. Okay, we are going to be sitting on resources. I'm just going to leave that guy alone, because nobody gives a damn. We leave now. I'm glad there's a dodge roll. There's another one. That's eh, fine. Yeah, it looks like you do actually do damage proportional to your level. Ah, uh, because now I'm actually hitting these guys for a fair amount. Also, it looks like, um... Looks like melee weapons are much more, um... Durable. Alright, we've definitely got a spin to win at this point. There we go. Okay, I think there's just one more nest. There's more nests. But no more spitters. Which is kind of the important part. Oh, I can roll over enemies. And it'll knock them back. Useful. That's actually incredibly useful. Okay, we almost have a spin to win. Just gotta... Just gotta keep going. Yeah, it looks like we still have many more spiders. Are they spawning from this thing? No, they're not. But, we have water! I'll take it. I wonder if, uh... uh I'm just pissing off yet more enemies here. Oh, that's okay. As long as they don't set me on fire, this isn't a problem. This is starting to look a little bit more possible with the every passing second. Well, at least we already messed up most of the nests. Okay, I'm just going to ignore we're going for the spider nests. Okay, let's back out around here. I should really collect this nonsense. Because I'm sure we're hitting it. Entity issues, because I'm noticing it is definitely lagging a little bit more than usual. Like, this game is many things. Optimized? Eh, kinda? The optimization was kind of more of, su more of a suggestion. It runs okay. Oh, shit. Are they spawning from these egg sacs on the walls? I hope not. They probably were. That would explain things. Spitters come from the nest in the water. I think it's just all over the... I think it's completely random. I'm glad that there is uh, AoE loot, though. This would suck otherwise. A lot. Like, I'd probably have gotten frustrated and stopped. Oh, auto saves. Nice. Alright. Uh, let's keep going. We've got some more Iker and Chitin and whatnot. But I think apart from that... Oh, nope. We got gold coins. Okay, I don't even know what we're doing here. It looks like they're not spawning from these nests anymore. That's good. Problem is, we're probably gonna run into a, um... Did I get a surprise attack on him and extra damage? I might have. Okay, we're up to level 11. That's useful. I wonder if durability is based on strikes? Or what, and if it includes abilities. Dunno. One way or another, we're making a ton of wooden swords after we're done with this. Because we're going to need that pretty desperately. 